let, let's go to Otoba Ghani Adams issue. He wanted to juju him and fufu him because I learned there was a time that one the very cool ran into a dish when he was having a five TV show over Rigidi traditional issue. Mm -hmm. What really happened between him and Ghani Adams, who is now the uh, for is alive today. He can say it. Even he himself has already addressed it many times. It, you know, he even want me to sit with him on conference. You know, uh, even now, as he became a real Nokakamfo, uh, TB Joshua trying to reconcile with him because he always want to, you know, you know, get close to where it is happening. Powerful people. Powerful people. So it happened. Uh, you know, Ghanaian Adams usually visits synagogue basically because they are both from Arigidi, Akoko. You know, when we were going to Arigidi that time, we met the Zaki, the Oba of, you know, we usually go to his house. Okay. Even we have followed uh, Fatai, Tibi Joshua to Zaki's house. So then when the Zaki died, they now want to choose another king. Mm. Then uh, TB Joshua want to be involved. Mm. You understand? He, wanted to he wanted to influence it. He asked somebody, his member, called Tunde, Tunde Ola Nekwekun, to be the king. And the people, the grassroots people said, ah, this guy is not, you know, is not, yeah, the people at home don't know him. Let the man, uh, he says something. Let the man that people know. I, I think it's all yes, become the king. Mm. That was the problem of Ghana. Mm. With TB Joshua. Joshua. That was all the thing he said though. So the next time he came, TB Joshua refused to attend to him. The man sat for like five, six hours unattended to. On around 1 a.m. Midnight. Was midnight. That was when TB Joshua now went to the uh, the place they entertained him and his uh, boys. You know, say, you know, I'm busy, you know. And he wear a dark cloth and there was something. Not dark. Okay. He, wear, he wore a black cloth. Mm. That, and his face was not friendly. So the man was, you know, maybe embarrassed or so. So the man left. The man told me that he has never had accidents all his life oh. until that day. They ran into a dish and their car entered into was half swallowed. By water, like a swamp. Like a swamp. So he said they thank God that they got help. But he, he saw that that he saw sign, you know, these yeah. people are Africans. Yeah, of course. All of them they are African oh. traditional people. He saw the sign that it's from where it was coming. So he was asking me what I couldn't answer. He said, Is that how he normally uh, you know, uh, how it normally vibrates against those people that have different opinion. Against well, I said, I don't know, I don't know. And the man believed that he has drawn a battle line. Okay. So they went home and they did what they need to do for their people. Mm -hmm. And he was not happy. He, you know, a pastor so-called pastor will be sponsoring on unrest uh, uh, unrest in, in locality, in, in locality in because they have uh, chosen another leader Candidate. so he said they will make the man you know uh, ungovernable yes they they usually have some some uh, festival days yes, you no. understand in Arigidi. so it's in my book. There are some days they have already marked. Either the day is Monday, Tuesday, whatever. So far, it is 21st of July. Yeah. That is when they will do certain and certain and certain. They said after performing all those, uh, you know, thing for that festival, yeah, that some people will now say, uh, Arigidi Day is another day. Hmm. This this was becoming, you know, you know, terrible. That some people from Arigidi started crying to the governor mm. that please they should call TB Joshua to order. Mm. You understand? So if not that Arigidi is his uh, village, maybe he will have you know we're around the place. We're around the place. We will because one day, see, he had a nephew. Mm. There is a nephew he had called uh Dele. Okay. Dele is the son of his brother. Mm. 
I met Dele in the synagogue as a small boy, as a young boy, maybe like eight years old. So, you know, uh, there's, there, at that time, there are these two women. They call them uh, Covenant uh, something with T.B. Joshua. They always wear white. When other disciples are running around, these people will just sit somewhere. The, uh, when we were sleeping on the bare floor, these people had bed in their room, just two of them. They call one Holy Mary, and they call the second one, uh, what's her name now? Holy Rabbi. Eli Rabbi. Eli Rabbi and Holy Mary. Oh, yeah. Eli Rabbi and Holy Mary. We did take one from Selah and one from Kiru. <laughs> do, do I know? Do I know? So these two people, you know, apart from staying in their room in the midnight, the three of them will go into the groove. So they are the one, you know, doing some funny prayers for him. Then uh, one of them, Eli Rabbi, was the one uh, taking care of Delhi. So I see that the way she treats Dele, you know, calm down, you know, they say, ah, Dele, you always do this, always do that. Say, if she, if he's out of order, possibly you should go and report him because if you are not nice to him, he may grow up yeah. to be adding. Then suddenly, while we are living in the synagogue quarters, Dele disappeared. What happened? Disappeared like how? We, we, we couldn't find him. Yeah. So, I, I was surprised that T.B. Joshua didn't even bother to look for him. After like three years, we were hearing stories how Delhi usually, you know, go around that Ikotun area, robbing people and uh, uh, raping women. <sighs> so it became so embarrassing for T.B. Joshua. Then I think it set him up because T.B. Joshua and Frederick... Uh, that's uh, what's his name, Frederick. Uh, this uh, OPC man, okay, fashion. Frederick Fashion. Yeah. Go and check. I'm giving you things that you can go and ch verify. Okay. He lives around that uh, Egbe area, okay? Yes, that's the late Frederick Fashion. Yes, Fashion, yeah. is that? Yes, dead. Yeah, he died last year. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. So they were very close together. So I think uh, T. B. Joshua reported to the man, and one day we were in the synagogue, and some people brought uh, daily. They tied him, and they said they want to burn him. So and unfortunately, some visitors were there, and daily was shouting, "T. B. Joshua is my brother. T. B. Joshua is my brother." So. T.B. Joshua sent uh, Mr. Jimo to the visitor so th to denounce that, no, 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 the man is crazy. That's their uh, excuse. Uh, the boy was crazy. So after they have taken the visitors there, he now sent Brother Sunday Arigidi, the bundle uh, daily. He paid those people. They bundle him and return him to Arigidi. Mm -hmm. He was in Arigidi, still committing those errors. And unfortunately, uh, somebody reported to T.B. Joshua that Daly said he has, he has gone to Abalist. They have revealed to him that it was T.B. Joshua who turned him to be monster. Mm -hmm. That he's coming to Lagos to kill him. Mm -hmm. What did T.B. Joshua did? He sent Olu and some, bo and some uh, government uh, security agencies. He paid them. Those people that are under payroll of uh, federal government. Mm. This guy used them anyhow. Mm. He paid them and they went to Arigidi. They kidnapped Delhi and put him in prison without Fire. trial. So he was in prison. After some months, Delhi broke out of jail. You know, and it became terror again. I was part of the group that went to Arigidi with some police and uh, uh, you know this uh, what do they call them uh, the soldier arm of police mobile police mobile Mopole. Mopole. they said because Dele likes me because when he was younger I usually say no you know he's young leave him now so they wanted to use me as bait yes. to draw him out in order to arrest him. So I went to Arigidi with them. We, when we got there, we saw, I went to Dele's house, but Dele was not around. So later, I went back again. I said, please, if Dele come, tell him I'm here. 
the next thing I was hearing was Dele was shouting outside. Says Sabisola, if you have the the guts, come out. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. You came with my enemy. I'll treat you like an enemy. <sighs> Though I was afraid a little bit too, because my village was far from there. I don't know, I'm not relating, related to them. But I took courage. When I saw Dili, Dili was drenched in blood. Maybe it was human blood, though. maybe it was chicken blood, though. and he put something big on his chest. I, I first look, say, should I pick this? So, but because, you know, I've known him, then I say, ah, Adele, is it me that you bring all this? He started laughing. He's a jolly good guy. He started laughing, saying, he thought, you know, you know, they were just uh, harassing him up and down. I said, calm down. I only came, to, you know, I always come to Arigiri and I need to see you because I've had a lot of bad things about you. Change for your own good. Then I left him. I quickly ran inside. So, the the mobiles they are inside though yeah. they said why didn't i bring him i said eh you don't know under under yeah, the <laughs> the situation i was outside with daily yeah. so when i was discussing with him even if it's two minutes three minutes why don't you people come yes. anyway uh, then uh as azan that is uh, tb joshua's cousin yeah. azan's father usually bring some juju for tb joshua from village yeah. not esa this is what we have seen mm -hmm. yes so uh the Az azam father was the chief imam of agbaluku mm -hmm. so azan because azan went with us azan now said uh, let's let's cut out everything so they start this mobile police on the streets they started shooting Jesus everybody scatter the shops the one or two shops that were there were closed down instantly you know the then me i was inside i was saying hey god have mercy inside the car. no inside the house it was tb joshua who sent us so so the next thing i started hearing cry oh, my leg they broke his leg with gone I, I couldn't bear it because he looked at me and said, ah, Stabisola, you did this to me. I said, me? So, we were all, they now put us all inside bus, went to Akure, and they dropped daily inside prison again. So, inside me, as we were going, I say, hey, oh, without government's involvement mm. if this guy decided to level the whole town that was because of what mm. because of what i'm re i'm ready to appeal to united nation you can't you can't do me anything this is what i witnessed this is what i saw i i my my mind is accurate mm. and this is what i'm saying to people mm. 